So you want to know how to get the tech armor, the tech rival, and the crazy laser shooting T-Rex saddle? And you also want to know what it all can do? Well, you came to the right place, because I'm gonna show you my tests, and I'm gonna show you how you can all get this fancy new stuff. So let's get started. And now you want to have the tech tier stuff, of course. Well, what you need to do for that is to learn the Ingrams. Check it out. But what? What is this for Sonus? I can't learn it. I'm max level 105 and I can't learn it. Well, that's true because you need to earn them. You need to do some boss fights and they have chains as well, as you can see here. You have easy, medium and hard. And you have that for each boss. And yeah, this one is the hardest and you need the most stuff for that. So that has changed as well. And when you kill a boss for the first time, you will get a tech replicator engram. And you will get it with each boss for on each difficulty. So that doesn't matter, you get that the first time. And each boss on each difficulty will give you a different extra reward. As you can see, when you kill the brute mother on easy, you will get nothing extra. Except when you kill it the first time and it's your first boss after this update, then you will get the tech replicator. On medium you will get the boots and on hard you will get the helmet. And when you kill the gorilla boss on easy, you will get the gauntlets. On medium you will get the tech rival and on hard you will get the T-Rex tech saddle. And when you defeat the dragon boss on easy, you will get the pants. On medium you will get the tech transmitter and on hard you will get the chest piece. And the best thing you can do is defeat the bosses on the hardest difficulty without fighting it on easy and medium. That way you will get all the rewards in one go. And if you kill the boss, well, run to the body and grab the element because the element is what you need for this tech tier stuff. And don't do it like this because now the body is gone with all the precious element inside of it. Well, once you have learned the replicator and some of the other items, you have to make it. And how to make the replicator? Well, it is not in the fabricator. What the hell? What is that? Is it just normal, a uh, normal engram? No, it is not. You need to go to a supply drop. What the hell? Yes, you need to go to a supply drop. Go, 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 go. Once you have the supply drop, you need a lot of goodies, as you can see here. Damn, damn, damn. This is crazy and insane. And as you can see, you need 75 elements. So the best thing what you can do is just fight the hard bosses be because if you fight the uh, easy or the medium bosses well you need to do that there several times before you get enough element to craft all the stuff. Okay once you have made the tech replicator you can turn it on if there is element in it. Once you have turned it on go check it out you can make everything you can even make another tech replicator if you have enough stuff and as you can see it is really expensive and I already shown you that it is hard to get the element. You will need a lot to craft all the items and you will need even more to maintain the power of it. I will show you that in a moment and I don't think many people will have tech tier on servers because yeah, it is just so hard to get all this stuff and to maintain it. And once you have your fancy tech stuff, well you need to put power in it. And how to do that? Well you need element as you can see, otherwise nothing will work. So you have to put element on it. Yeah, 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 for Sonus, that's all nice to know, but tell us, show us, what can this armor do? Well, the first thing I want to tell you is that if you want to use this armor, you really need to defeat a boss and able to equip it. Whoa, what is that? Well, if for example a tribe mate has defeated the bosses on hard mode and he will craft an armor set for you, well, you can't use it if you haven't defeated the bosses also. So you really need to unlock the tech ram in order to equip this armor. So... What can you tell us about the jetpack? Well, if you normally jump, nothing happens. If you double tap, you make a boost in the air. So let me show you that again. Double tap is a boost in the air. And in the air you can do the same thing over and over again as long as you have a lot of this element stuff. And when you just hold space, you're gonna fly up. Okay, let me show you how quickly this jetpack is depleted. So it consumed one element. And on the right bottom of the screen you see the jetpack is getting empty now when I use space. And it's getting empty really fast as you can see. Damn, damn, damn. It uses a lot of element. And it consumed another one. So that was one element. And yeah, you can fly as high as you want. And when you press shift you will just hover in the air. So you don't get higher, you just hover in the air and you can go sideways or whatever way you want. And what you also can do with the jetpack in the water is just swim really fast. Press shift to swim really fast or press space to jump out of the water. When you're flying around with your jetpack and you have your leggings equipped and they are powered up, press control and you will fly like Superman. Here we come to destroy your base. 
And if you're falling down and you have your boots equipped and they are powered, check it out. You will not receive any damage at all. No, 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 no. Because, let me show you, if I don't have my boots on, what will happen. Go up a little bit. And let me fall down. I die. <laughs> well, one other thing with the boots is you can run up uh, hills like this. Check it out. They are some kind of magnetic <laughs> to all kind of things. So that is nice and awesome. And for Sonus, what does your pants do? Well, my pants will let me run fast. Check it out. This is normal walking. This is running. And when you press control, you get super speed. As you can see here. You can run across water. You will destroy stone. The only downside is you can't uh, steer. So you can't go left or right. So the only thing is going forward until you're getting to a stop. <laughs> And as you can see, you can also damage screeches with it. So let us check it out again. So we do about 240 damage with it. Okay, let's test out the pants versus structures. And as you can see, I did a mind wipe. So the movement speed and all that kind of things, it is just basic. So come on, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we run through tats and wood at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Um, I wanted to do it one at a time, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's test out stone. Are you still at full health here? Yes, stone wall is at full health. So let's test it out. And run, 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 run. Okay, we didn't run through stone, but we did 5250 damage. Okay, can we also do metal? Maybe we can run against metal and do a little bit of damage? I don't know, I don't know. Oh. We hit the stone again. <laughs> Come on. Did we do anything? No. Nothing. Okay, let's try metal again. Did we do anything here? No. Nothing. Everything. So you can't hit metal with your pants. <laughs> with the running speed. But you can destroy stone in, in two goes. And you can destroy wood and that's in one go. So let's put stone back. And let's see if it matters if we uh, crank up the movement speed or not. So let's put everything in movement speed here. So we're going really fast now. Okay, let's get back. And run, 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 run. Did we do the same amount? Yes, we did the same amount. So it doesn't matter how much movement speed you have. Me maybe it matters how much melee you have. So we're gonna test it out now. Okay, the stone wall is at full health again. And let's put everything in melee. Let's see. If it matters or not with the pants. So let's head back. And whoa, 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 whoa. And start running. Come on, come on. Any difference? Nope. Just with the pants, you do 5250 damage versus stone. And for Sonus, what can we do with the gloves? Well, let me tell you and show you that. You can do some super punching with it. So hold the right mouse click. You can't move then. And. You do the super punch. And did you see the crosshair in the screen? Now it is getting locked onto something. Now it isn't. Now it is. So let's punch this little monkey here. <laughs> it didn't even die. And let's do it again with this one. And let's go up. Oh, we are too high now. We are too high. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah, there we go. And we killed it. And can we use it on the water as well? Nope, we can't use it on the water. Well, let's see how much damage we can do versus structures with the glass. So, I did a mind wipe. As you can see, everything is basic here. So, let's punch the tatch. And we destroy the tatch. Okay. And let's punch the wood wall. Come on. Go. Okay, almost 3000 damage. We did uh, 2800. About that. Okay, and the stone one. Come on. We did 650. And the metal? Nothing. We didn't do any damage to the metal. Okay. So, let's put the tats back. Let's replace this. And let's see if it matters. If we have something in melee or not. So, let's put everything in melee. And let's do it again. Okay. 
The wooden wall. Maybe we destroy it now. Oh, I missed. Come on. Yeah, we destroy wood now. And stone. Well, we don't destroy stone, but we do more damage. Just so, maybe we can also hit the metal now. Come on. Nothing. Maybe I missed, so let's test it out again. Nope, nothing. Okay, so... Yeah, the melee damage that you have on your own, it matters with how much damage you can do with your gloves. So keep that in mind. Frisonis, what can you tell us about that nice helmet you wear? Well, let me show you what you can do with it. As you can see, everything is normal now. My view is just normal. Well, when I double tap E, this will happen. My creatures and my tribe mates uh, will turn out green. All the wild stuff will turn out white, as long as it hasn't aggroed on you. When they get angry at you, check it out. They get red, as you can see here. And your enemies on PvP will also get red. So wild creatures will get red when they aggro at you. And also, the, yeah, the, the other players will be in red. Allies will be in blue. And, yeah, when they flee, they turn yellow, as you can see here. But wait, there is more. Double press E again. And this will happen. You get night vision. But you can also use this during daytime. That doesn't matter. And you just go, go away, go away, go away. So during daytime you can just use night vision and it isn't too bright for you. And now it is nighttime. And as you can see, oh man, this looks so awesome. This is a really a nice night vision. And when you double tap E again, you will get a combination of both. So that means you have night vision and you can see the creatures now. So that's awesome. And when your helmet is powered on with elemental, you can dive into the water without suffocating. Because your helmet is providing you with oxygen. How nice is this? No more need for a scuba tank. <laughs> but for Sonus, what if I don't have the full armor set? Well, no panic. Each and every item will work on its own. Except, yes, some have combinations. Like the jetpack with the pants, they have a speed combination. So those things work together, but they also work separately on their own. But yeah, you can't use the special features that comes with the pants. So for example, now I can fly and all that kind of things, but I, I can't use the speed. As you can see, when I press control, I just hit the air. So each and every item will work on its own, but yeah, the best thing of course is a full armor set. And Frasonus, what can you tell us about the tech rifle? Well, let's test it out versus the structures. So, first, let's you touch. It only does 525 damage. Okay, let's see. Wood. It does 447 damage. And stone. Only 245. And metal, can you do it? <laughs> only 24 damage. And yet, this one also uses, uh, of course, element. It does need to reload, as you can see on the bottom of my screen, it says 96%. Let's shoot it. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. And it has a cooldown time, as you can see, oh, it needs to cool down. And you can't unequip it now. You need to wait until it is cooled down. Check the number one. It says 48%. I'm gonna shoot, shoot, shoot. And it just uses another element. So. You don't have to reload, that's the nice thing, you only need to cool down. And let's see, how much damage does it does versus creatures? Yes, hello, I can... Yeah, you spit on me? I can spit to you. <laughs> 300! Okay. And what can you do more with it? Well, right mouse click gives this option. And you can zoom in. You can zoom out, that is with the scroll button. And shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, we missed. We totally missed. It is a little bit hard. Come on. Yay! Oh, d did you see that? We we didn't do uh, 300 damage this time. So apparently the further away, the less damage you do. Let's check it out again. How much do we do now? 100. And over there it was 67. And close by it was 300. So, the further away, uh, yeah, the, the less damage you, you can do with it. Well, it is night, and if you look through the scope, you can just see everything clearly. So, that's the nice thing with the tech rifle. And you can also combine the helmet with the rifle. Let's check it out. This is normal, nothing special. Let's double tap E. 
And now it is this vision. So it is nicely combined with each other. And let's see the other visions. This is the night vision on it. And these are boat visions. So you can nicely combine it all with the rifle as well. And one more thing about the rifle that uses 2% per bullet. So you have 50 bullets for one element. And for Sonus, how strong is the laser? Well, we're gonna test it out. This is a T-Rex with this amount of melee damage. I don't know if that counts. I don't think so. But first, what you need to do is press control. And <laughs> your aim is going up. I don't know why that is, but your aim is going up. So check it out. Do you see the morphing? The morphing of the helmet. Now you can bite. And now you can shoot. So let's see what it kind of damage it can do. There we have a dodo. And it is a level 56. Well, my guess is we can kill it in one shot. Don't we? So let's aim. Right mouse click. And you can aim much better. And shoot. It didn't even die. We did 73 damage. And another one. Do you see? We did 135 damage. So th this is a little bit crazy. Okay, uh, let's check it out with that other T-Rex. Activate it. Let's zoom in. And let's see what kind of damage this one do. 135. 135. And with my bite, I bet I can do a lot more damage. Yes. So... Don't use the laser of the T-Rex against creatures because <laughs> it is way too weak for that. So let's test it out now versus structures. We have tats, wood, stone and metal. Let's see, what will it do? Okay, it destroys tats. It destroys wood in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Does it do anything to wood? Well, only <laughs> a little amount. Damn. So, let's try it out again. It was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, every time you need to activate it again. Shoot. It was 7716. And now it is... Oh my god. 7480. Damn. It is just doing <laughs> a little over 200. 200 and... 36 damage against wood. Let's see. Let's try stone. Does it work for stone? Well, only, <laughs> only uh, 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 yeah, 111. But come on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Go, 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 go. Well, only 60 with metal. So, that is not really strong. So, I don't recommend this uh, T-Rex laser. It uses a lot of element and... Yeah, it is way too expensive for that. Because let me show you how much element it uses. On the top right of the screen you see 22%. Well, it uses 6% each time it shoots. And 100% means one element. So, it removed one element now. So that means you can only shoot 16 times with one element. And this, this thing, what is it? Well, there you see the big one. It's the obelisk. And this is the small baby version. <laughs> you can turn it on. It doesn't need any element to turn on. So it looks nice. It has some nice t stuff. But you can transmit items, survivors and creatures to other orcs. So how awesome is that? Well, that's all I can show you for now about the tech tier stuff. What do you think of it? Is it game changing? Is it game breaking? I don't know. I don't play PvP. It is definitely game changing. And for PvP, I can understand that you think it is game breaking, but I don't think you will see a lot of people using this because it is really expensive. And yeah, like I said with the T-Rex saddle for now, I wouldn't recommend it. It is expensive, it uses a lot of element and it is weak. So I wouldn't recommend it for now until they have changed that stuff. So I don't think a lot of people will use this on PvP servers and also on PvE. Well, it is nice to have, but yeah. I don't know, it is really expensive and hard to get. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did then leave a like, leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already and you want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye!